expressing the word time in Czech is a little bit more challenging since we have so many possibilities. In today's video, we are going to look at three words, how to say time, čas, doba, období. We will learn some expressions and phrases with these words. Jdeme na to! Ahoj, vítejte na mém kanále Czech by Zuzka, kde vám pomocí angličtiny vysvětluju českou gramatiku. Like I said before, in this video we are going to take a look at phrases and expressions with these three words that are related to time. And many times they can be translated as time in English. And of course, these are not the only words that can be used to translate time in Czech. Čas, doba, období. First of all, I would like to show you how and if we can distinguish these three words. They are very difficult to distinguish, but there is something that can help sometimes. Čas is usually the shortest period from these three. We could say it refers to a specific time that can be measured. Imagine this is a timeline and čas is something shorter, more specific. Doba is something that is a little bit longer. It can sometimes be translated as the period of time. So it could be something like this, maybe a little bit longer. Doba. Období is also something that's a little bit longer and it's not usually that specific. It's around a period of time. We could say that it's maybe a little bit longer than doba. This doesn't always work, but it's to get a very rough idea how these words work. Now, let's take a look at čas and how to use it in common sentences and expressions. Let's start with the word čas, which is probably the word that everybody knows, although it might be not as frequent as another word that we will take a look at. Čas is a measurable, shorter period of time. It can be a specific time. We can simply say mám čas, I have time, or nemám čas, I don't have time. And we can also specify in a way this, this word, we can say mám Málo času, I have little time. Mám hodně času, I have a lot of time. Also this expression většina času, the majority of time, is also common. Usually it would appear in this form, většinu času, in the accusative case. Většinu času jsem doma. I am home most of the time. Už je čas, it's time. When it's time to do something, you can also add it here. Už je čas jít, it's time to go. You can also use the word čas in plural, just like in English. To byly časy, those were the times, like those were the days. To byly časy. Čas vypršel, čas vypršel, the time is up. We also use it with the verb trávit, to spend time. Trávit čas, trávíš moc času u počítače. You spend too much time on the computer. Trávíš moc času u počítače. Opakujte po mně, repeat after me. Mám čas. I have time. Mám málo času. I have little time. Už je čas. It's time. To byly časy. Those were the times. Čas vypršel. The time is up. Let's take a look at a few collocations, words that often appear together. Volný čas, that's free time, volný čas. For example, ve volném čase ráda chodím na procházky. In my free time, I like to go for walks. Ve volném čase ráda chodím na procházky. Čas od času, that's time to time. Čas od času. Čas od času chodím běhat. Or časem, časem, with time. Časem se to zlepší. It will get better with time. Časem se to zlepší. 
Now let's take a look at doba. Doba is period of time. It could also be translated as era or duration. This word is very, very common. It's the most common of the three words. We often use it to express how long something is going to take or when something happened. For example, vhodná doba means appropriate time. You can hear it in a sentence. Teď není vhodná doba. Now is not a good time. Now is not an appropriate time. Teď není vhodná doba. Or when you look at the recipe, it could tell you how long it takes. It would say doba přípravy. Time of preparation. Doba přípravy 40 minut. So doba is a period of time and we usually specify this period of time. We give it a time frame. For example, v poslední době. Recently. V poslední době. Actually, there is a synonym in a different form. Poslední dobou. Poslední dobou also means recently, except this is the locative case and this one is the instrumental. They both mean recently or lately. Poslední dobou všude chodí pozdě. Lately, she's been late everywhere. Poslední dobou všude chodí pozdě. V dnešní době Nowadays. V dnešní době. V dnešní době je to časté. Nowadays it's common. V dnešní době je to časté. Or v té době. At that time. At that period of time. V té době ještě žil děda. Grandpa was still alive at that time. V té době ještě žil děda. Or od té doby. Since or from that time. Do té doby. Until that time. For example, when you say od té doby, since that time, you also add since the time that happened what? Pracuju od té doby, co si odjel. I've been working since the time you left. Since you left. Pracuju od té doby, co si odjel. I am not going to give you more examples here because it would be overwhelming, but if you're interested, you can also check out my blog post where I uh, write more examples and more collocations. The word doba appears in many expressions and also official terms. For example, pracovní doba, working hours. Pracovní doba. Otevírací doba, that's opening hours. Otevírací doba. And Zavírací doba, the closing time. Zavírací doba. Zkušební doba. Zkušební doba is a trial period. When you get a new job, you usually have three or six months of trial period. Zkušební doba. Zkušební doba je tři měsíce. Doba určitá, that's fixed period or definite period. A doba neurčitá, indefinite period. Máme práci na dobu určitou a práci na dobu neurčitou. And this is not an official term, but it's also something that appears very commonly. Dlouhá doba, long period of time, long term. Krátká doba, short period of time, short term. And we also use adverbs that are created from these uh, collocations. Dlouhodobě, dlouhodobě, for a long term, in a long term. Krátkodobě, short term. These are adverbs. Let's read these collocations together. Pracovní doba. Otevírací doba. Zavírací doba. Zkušební doba. Doba určitá. Doba neurčitá. Dlouhá doba. Krátká doba. And now it's time for the word období, which is the least common of these words. Nonetheless, still important. It can also be translated as period of time or a term or a stage. It's similar to the word doba because actually it comes from it. It has a prefix op and doba and e at the end. And op in this case means something surrounding. So op dobi surrounds the word doba. So it's sometimes a little bit longer 
and sometimes it's not very specific. Oftentimes it's something that can repeat, like in a cycle. Roční období, those are seasons. We have to say roční období. Máme čtyři roční období. We have four seasons. Jaro, léto, podzim, zima. And then we can also say period of what? Období sucha. Dry season. Období dešťů. Rain season. Or when you talk about a certain stage of a person's life, like childhood, uh, adulthood, puberty, etc. They would also be called období. We can also use it when we want to say that we are going through some rough time. Těžké období, hard time. But we don't use it with the word čas, because čas sounds like it's something that's gonna pass in a few minutes. But období, you know, it's this longer period of time. Mám teď těžké období. I'm just going through some difficult time now. Mám teď těžké období. Je to nejhorší období mého života. It's the worst time of my life. Nejhorší období mého života. Nebo období puberty. The period of puberty. So this is something that takes a longer time. And many times it's not exactly very specific. And in many cases it's something that repeats. So those are stages or seasons that repeats. For example, it's seasons in the year. Stages of life that are common for every human. And there are also more expressions, more collocations such as zkouškové období. At university there is examination period. Zkouškové období. Ozvu se ti až na konci zkouškového období. I'll get back to you at the end of the examination period. Ozvu se ti až na konci zkouškového období. Or volební období. The election period. So you can see that the word období is not specific by itself unless we specify it with a word such as zkouškové období, the examination period. But even then, uh, you need to have a date. You don't know how long the examination period is if you don't have any other information. Let's see how you would translate these sentences. There are four sentences and I made it a little bit easier. There are only a few words missing. And of course, the words uh, čas, doba and období are one of those. The first sentence is we spend a lot of time together. This is a specific time and it's something that we can measure in how many minutes. So we would go for čas. Trávíme spolu hodně času. Trávíme spolu hodně času. Číslo dvě. Childhood is the best time of life. We could think of it as a stage, so something that lasts for a long time. And it's a period of time that's not very specific. We would go for období. Dětství je nejlepší období života. Dětství je nejlepší období života. Číslo tři. He hasn't been here for some time. This sounds like it took some more time than just a few minutes or hours. We would choose the word doba and we specify it by saying nějaká doba, some time. Nějakou dobu tady nebyl. We have to use the accusative case. He hasn't been here for some time. Nějakou dobu tady nebyl. A poslední věta. Recently I have been feeling very motivated. We learned recently that's v poslední době. V poslední době se cítím hodně motivovaný nebo motivovaná. V poslední době se cítím hodně motivovaná. That's all for today. I wish I could give you more advice for how to use these three words, but sometimes it's just better to learn certain collocations and phrases that you think that you could use. So you can watch this video again, write a few notes or also open my blog post and take notes. To je pro dnešek všechno. This is all for today. Mějte se krásně. Děkuju, že jste se dívali.